This is Ga on Point. It's part of the National Park Service War in the Pacific Memorial. I really like how they form the um, parking lot around this huge mango tree rather than just cutting it down and, and flattening it. I suspect that's something that happened during Governor Bardalio's time. Here we have some banana trees. And the do not sign. up of the do not sign. Now we're moving into the park itself and really we're taking more the perspective of the Japanese defenders than the U.S. Marines because we're, we're coming at this from the island rather than from the the beach but this this area is where the marines landed on july uh, 21 uh, 1944. they came from the beach and into this flat plain area And down the trail. And here you can see a slight river on a beach area. They would have been, the Marines would have been landing in this area and coming uh, up this and coming around onto the beach and up uh, to this land area. I headed down to the beach. You can see all the rocks, a lot of volcanic rock. And then back up into the park. And these holes are from Punglao uh, land crabs. And here is one of the bunker areas. You can't see it very well in this video, but the, the uh, rock on your left is actually concrete. And back in there is a bunker that a uh, Japanese soldier may well have been shooting out of. This one is much more clear. You can see it's kind of filled with dirt at this point, but at some point in the past, there were Japanese soldiers in there defending this area. And then up the hill. 
and we've got uh, a much more clear bunker here. And this opening would have let them shoot down onto the beach from kind of a high hill. Uh, any, any U.S. Marines coming through that area would have been easy prey. And further up the hill. And then this is another overlook. You can see directly down under the beach. You can kind of see it through the trees there. I assume that during the war none of this foliage was here. So it would have given the Japanese defenders uh, easy shots at the uh, Marines coming in. And then headed back around and up this hill. And here we have a 22 millimeter cannon. Would have been shooting at ships out in the water. And an anti-aircraft gun shooting at any airplanes that were coming through. Again, a very defensible position overlooking the beach where the Marines would have been coming through. You can see this picture here. And then down towards the beach on this side. And here's kind of a better view of the beach, the conditions that um, might have been present at the invasion day. And that's basically it, heading out of the park. And back to the car.